After Jupiter, we are here with the planet Moon, the most important planet in Vedic astrology. How to know if your moon is good or bad? Before I begin disclaimer again, don't interpret things in black and white, good or bad. Look at the overall chart. But if you have similar placements which are supporting these placements, then it could make things much more excellent or much more worse. Okay. So, therefore, number one placement, let's talk about the good first, all right? Then we go to the bad. <laughs> number one is actually, uh, th this is true, this is a very bizarre thing because this is true for both good and bad. So, good number one, bad number one is the same point, which is if your destiny number is two, so what is destiny number? Destiny number, you add your date of birth, your entire date, month, year, everything you add. And then if you reach to two, then that's your destiny number, which is two. Now, this can make you extremely popular on the good side. It can make you extremely um, soft. It can, you know, make you very, 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 very likable. Uh, it can make you, people want to talk to you, share things with you. And it is one of the best placements, okay? Now, on the bad side, this can make you extremely moody, extremely attention-seeking, extremely prone to addictions, especially, yeah, drinking, pornography, uh, eating sugar, and all the things which are not very good for your mental health, physical health, spiritual health, all right? So... Uh, this destiny too can go in both ways, okay? So, for example, if your destiny is two and in your horoscope, in astrology, if your moon is very well placed, then uh, it can go towards the positive side or else it can go towards the negative side, okay? Now, this is true for both good and bad. But now for number two, moon in the fourth house. Now, this is an excellent placement for the moon but this may or may not be good for the overall chart it may be it is mostly but may not be good sometimes but for the moon it is excellent why now what do i mean when i say it is good for the moon so what does moon show moon shows hospitality it shows you know like friends uh, family members your mother your closed ones your loved ones so these these are shown by the moon so moon in the fourth house can make you extremely uh, attached to your family, you know, your home, you know, you might lot, derive a lot of happiness by interacting with your family members. And, you know, everybody just becomes like your family. You want to bring people home. And it's just so in that sense, it is very good. But on the flip side, this may be sometimes difficult for money because you may, you know, imagine you have a business and, you know, you will just give things to people for free. So you may be very happy, but for your financial side, this may be a bit troublesome, okay? But in general, for the moon and for enjoyment, happiness, this is perfect, okay? But of course, it has to be in a good dignity, it has to be in an earth sign, preferably, right? Now, moon in the 11th house, number 3, but there's a condition. The Lagnesh has to be well placed. What does this mean? Why do I say the Lagnesh has to be well placed with moon in the 11th? Because... Moon in the 11th can make you extremely social and it can make you gravitate towards, you know, desires and, you know, a very fine life. You know, you might like fine dining, okay? But if your lagnesh is not well placed, then what happens is you will kind of indulge and it will take you into addictions. But if it is good, then you'll be extremely popular, extremely good looking, extremely charming and, uh, yeah, you'll be extremely smart. You will know how to talk to members of the opposite sex and people in general, okay? So, this is one of the best placements of the moon. Now, number four, moon in the fifth house, but a well-supported tenth house. Why do I say this? Because moon in the fifth house can make you extremely creative, okay, creative to the next level. But the problem is, this is the eighth from the tenth house. So, this can also make you lazy and this could be like a situation where, uh, yeah, you just don't want to work. You are like, Oh, yeah, I'll just, you know, yeah, I'll just watch TV and, you know, do nothing, okay? So, now, if the 10th house is strong and your Lagnesh, your 10th lord, if these placements are supportive, then 
you will be creative outside of your work and also in your work you will be very creative okay but you will not be lazy but if the overall chart is not good and you know you just have moon in the fifth not one of my favorite placements it will make you extremely you know like too much prone to wrong things sometimes okay now last but not the least moon in the navamsha lagna well placed well supported why this is a very good placement because imagine what what is the navamsha navamsha is your inner self so when your moon is placed there it's like saying your mind is very much in tune with who you are so this is good for mental stability okay provided it is well placed and not you know too much afflicted by you know like two or three malefics in the d9 so if moon is in the first house of your d9 and well supported then this becomes a perfect case where you can actually be yourself and you don't uh you don't do things forcefully you do do things which you love and you know you are actually going after things that you really believe in so therefore if you have this this is a very good place fin because you can become an entrepreneur with this okay now bad placements number 1 i already discussed about destiny 2 so i'll not repeat it the trouble side of destiny 2 <laughs> number 2 moon in the 8th but with a bad lagna lord and a bad sun now moon in the 8th is a difficult placement in the bhav chalit but if along with that your lagnesh and your sun is also badly placed oh then this is a very difficult placement you know it can get you addicted to all wrong sorts of things so yeah basically this shows your emotions are out of control but if you know the lagnesh and the sun is reasonably well placed then this can mean you are a very good researcher or you are a very good detective okay otherwise mostly this is one of the most challenging placements okay it can get you depression drugs prostitution everything we okay? just name it and it's there number 3 moon in the 12th house of the navamsha but with also a bad venus so suppose moon is in 12th house in your d9 any sign doesn't matter and your venus is also very badly placed so this is like saying you know your mind is always gravitating for you know having affair with somebody <laughs> because moon in 12th can give you that tendency you know to to always feel that there is a lack of you know romance and you know intimacy sexuality in your life so you are trying to you know find it in somebody else but if venus is good you will not indulge in it but if venus is also gone then that's it you will indulge okay so this is a very difficult place especially for marriage and this is very challenging number 4 moon in the second house but with an aspect of saturn or conjunct saturn this also a very difficult place and why because moon in the second afflicted by saturn can give you all sorts of you know addictions you know tendency to speak lies or to uh, be duplicitous you know because second house is speech and your things that you believe so it's like saying you know your belief itself is corrupted with saturn okay so therefore if you have this you really have to practice morality and speaking the truth and all this okay this is a this is a very bad placement it's i won't say it's a difficult one it is certainly but this is a very bad place when you will not want to associate with somebody who may have this now here there's a catch if the trinal lords are good then you will lie occasionally <laughs> so she will try not to lie and you know not to be deceitful but if your trinal lords are also spoiled oh boy i mean it's like lie i mean speaking the truth is like a second thing okay speaking lie lies uh, is like you you are born with it okay <laughs> so very difficult one all right last but not the least moon in the d10 lagna badly placed what is this dashamsha lagna dashamsha lagna can show planets which uh, impact your profession now guess what when moon goes into the lagna in a bad dignity like you know your scorpio uh, dashamsha scorpio lagna and moon is there okay so it can make you lazy it can make you 
headless it can make you you know visionless you know whatever you know, headless <laughs> so this is a problematic placement because you really may not know what you want to do in life because you know moon is this you know planet which just likes in you know, enjoyment having fun and you know just be yourself so that's a problem okay so therefore if you have this uh, you really have to work on your discipline and uh, control yourself all right so if you want to improve your moon i have a video on moon remedies will find it in my channel all right please watch it all right don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to write down below what some what are some of the placements that you have seen uh, which makes uh, a person have a good moon or a bad moon all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and for personalized consultations my website is down below thank you and take care